Oh, it's so fun to be here in this, the, uh, at, at our studio, which is now called the L Entertainment L Listening Studio, oh. because you can come in here and listen to great music. But right now, we're talking to Raphael Perry, who is the artistic and director for the Shakespeare Dallas. And these two beautiful people behind me are going to do a performance from what, Moliere? From Tartuffe's. Tartuffe's. Uh, yeah, Tartuffe by Moliere. Yes. By Moliere. Okay, see how smart I am? I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I thought Tartuffe wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me ask you something. You're doing something in Addison. What are you doing? So this fall, we're doing Antony and Cleopatra at Addison Circle Park outdoors, right here in the downtown area of Addison. How great is that? Yeah. We so are you like a company on the road? Well, we took this one production in the fall. We do two weeks at Samuel Grand, which is our home down in East Dallas. Yes. And then we bring it up here for two weeks because the town of Addison and all the great people up here love it so They much. love it. So and this do. is such a happening place. It really Let is. Let me ask you, are your cast members full time or the, do, does everybody have a real job? <laughs> I guess oh. real job's relative. Oh. <laughs> They're all professional actors. <laughs> you can see how beautiful they, they, they do. Some do commercial work, they all, all of them work in the theaters throughout That's North Texas, right. which is great. And I'll tell you, these are people that do what they love to do. And that is the whole meaning of what we're all supposed to do, to find something we love to do and do it well. So let's see what's happening in this play right now. Sure. Take it away, guys. Madam, I have just received some wondrous news regarding which I would like to hear your views. What news? You're marrying Tartuffe. Oh, I find that father does have such a match in mind. Your father, madam. Has just this minute said that it's Tartuffe he wishes me to wed. Can he be serious? Oh, indeed he can. He has clearly set his heart upon the plan. And what position oh. do you propose to take, madam? Why, I don't know. For heaven's sake, you don't know? No. Well... Well, advise me, do Marry the man, that's my advice to you. That's your advice? Yes. Truly? Oh, absolutely. You couldn't choose more wisely, more astutely. Thanks for this counsel. I'll follow it, of course. Do, do. I'm sure it will cost you no remorse. Well, to give it didn't cause your heart to break. I gave it, madam, only for your sake. And it's for your sake that I take it, sir. <gasps> so I am nothing to you. And it was flat deception when you... Please, enough of that. You've told me plainly that I should agree to wed the man my father has chosen for me. And since you've deigned to counsel me so wisely, I promise, sir, to do as you advise me. Ah, oh, no. T'was not by me that you were swayed. No, your decision was already made. Though now, to save appearances, you protest that you are betraying me at my behest. Just as you say. Quite so. And now I see that you were never truly in love with me. Alas, you're free to think so if you choose. I choose to think so. And here's a bit of news. You've spurned my hand, but I know where to turn for kinder treatment, as you shall quickly learn. I'm sure you do. Your noble qualities inspire affection. Forget my qualities, please. They don't inspire you over much, I find. But there is another lady I have in mind whose sweet and generous nature will not scorn to compensate me for the loss I have borne. I'm no great loss, and I'm sure you'll transfer your heart quite painlessly from me to her. I'll do my best to take it in my stride. The pain I feel at being cast aside, time and forgetfulness may put an end to. Or if I can't forget, I shall pretend to. No self-respecting person is expected to go on loving once he has been rejected. Now that's a fine high-minded sentiment. One to which any sane man would assent. Would you prefer it if I pined away in hopeless passion until my dying day? Am I to yield you to a rival's arms and not console myself with other charms? Oh, go then. Console yourself. Don't hesitate. Indeed, I wish you to. I cannot wait. You wish me to. That's the final straw. Madam, farewell. Your wish shall be my law. Splendid! Oh. 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 oh, come here. 
come here, come here, come here. I want to see the whole thing now. I mean, I got to see this. What's your name? Morgan. Morgan, what's your last name? Garrett. Garrett. Yes. Garrett Storms. <laughs> oh, huh? Is that your name? Yes. Now Garrett. you got that name out of a book. I, yes. Well, is that your real name? That's my name. Garrett Storms, and you're, there's something here. <laughs> All right, you don't want to miss this. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be playing in Addison. This is all from the Shakespeare Dallas Company. They're wonderful. You will have a marvelous experience when you go. Take your family, don't take your dog, and don't take alcohol. <laughs> we'll, oh, don't take your dog, and don't take alcohol. We'll be back in just a minute.